Boris Johnson has pledged £1.1 billion of the so-called headroom reserves in a bid to boost police numbers by 20,000. Uh, the Conservative MP and, of course, Boris Johnson supporter, Priti Patel, joins us from Westminster. Ms Patel, very good morning Neil, to good you. good morning. Uh, let's start with those um, 20,000 police officers. £1.1 billion pounds, uh, to, to, to bring them in within three years, according to Mr Johnson. I mean, let's be clear, that won't even bring us back up to the level of police numbers uh, in England and Wales that we were at when the Conservatives entered government back in 2010. Well, in 2010, there are 143,000 police officers and that number has reduced. And, of course, this is now a proposal to ensure that over the lifetime of this parliament, we can get back up to 140,000 police officers. So, effectively, we will invest in policing, in law and order, so that we can take back control once again of our streets, our communities, and make sure that we can tackle the real scourge of crime that we're seeing across the country. No one is doubting that more police are, are needed, that we need more um, your bobbies on the beat to use the old trite phase. The question is whether or not uh, the money is there to do so. At uh, 1.1 well, 1 .1 billion pounds, that, that's almost the amount of money that's been taken out of just the Metropolitan Police? Well, Neil, the answer is there is the money there and there is the fiscal headroom, um, as we've seen, and the Treasury have acknowledged that too. And I think, quite frankly, it is important now, because national debt has come down, because of the economic impacts that have obviously taken place over the last 10 years, the way the government has been incredibly prudent with public spending and got, got us back into the right space when it comes to controlling debt and public finances, that we we now use our fiscal levers to invest in communities and invest in people and public services around the country. And that's exactly what Boris Johnson is proposing with this announcement today. But I was, I was always led to believe, um, you know, by previous Home Secretaries, that, you know, police numbers didn't actually have any effect on crime. In fact, it was uh, Theresa May who said that. She's wrong, is she? Well, I think it's quite self-evident that we need more police on our streets, and I speak as an Essex MP... It's self-evident she's wrong, then, just well, specifically on that. Well, I think the British public absolutely have a fear of crime, and when we look at the changing nature of crime, and I think we should be clear about this, crime has changed immensely over the last ten years, not just in terms of drug crime, but... Um, gangs as well, but also the nature of policing has also changed. I mean, I'm an Essex MP and we have huge issues with now um, domestic violence issues, but the way in which crime has become much more based on the internet and things of that nature. So policing in its own nature has changed, but it's quite clear that our communities do need to see more police visibility and that acts as a very significant deterrent when it comes to criminal activity. And quite frankly, I think it's the right thing to do. I'm someone that proposes this constantly in my own constituency and in the county of Essex as well, that we need more bobbies on the beat. And to be quite frank, in Essex, we have raised our policing precepts so that we can have more police officers on the streets of my constituency and across the county of Essex. Uh, Boris Johnson, of course, writing in The Sun today, setting out his, part of his manifesto. Um, he, he believes that stop and search is not discriminatory. What's your view on that? Well, I think I absolutely support more stop and search, and I've been out on police patrols myself, where I've seen the impact of basically stopping people, offenders who have been caught carrying drugs in the instances where I've been out and about. And I think it's important that those who have something to hide, basically, in terms of whether it's criminality, drug use, things of that nature, they do feel the force of the law, and they know that they're being watched, basically. And that but, is but a right Logically, Ms. Michelle, I'm sorry to interrupt. We're, we don't have a huge amount of time, but logically one can support an increase, support the use of stop and search and still believe that it discriminates. Black people in London make up 16%, white people 60%, 43% of searches in 2018 in London were of black people. In what way is that not discriminatory? Well, I disagree in the sense that this isn't just about policing in London. This is a national issue. I'm asking when you look at crime, and I don't think it's about people fearing discrimination. I think, quite frankly, policing with more numbers and a proper considered approach to stop and search can ensure that the right people are targeted and it shouldn't be based on race or any form of discrimination at all. Um, Boris Johnson, fox hunting.